It is the 5th of the 9th, 2013, and this is your radioactive reality. Let's get started. ENE News. Emergency declared a U.S. nuclear plant due to fire in turbine building. Two reflash events occurred. Fire emergency lasted over four hours. Now this is the Palo Verde nuclear power plant. Apparently they had some hydraulic fluids soak into the insulation on these hot pipes and uh, sparked a fire. More headlines out of Japan, just uh, confirming what we've been telling you all along. Covering Fukushima reactors in concrete like Chernobyl should be considered. Nuclear official, if we just buried them, no one would want to look at another new plant. And no one should. A major source of ocean contamination from Fukushima not revealed. Nuclear waste exits from cracks in reactor buildings, then goes into the Pacific, never enters the groundwater, and flows directly through the ground. Nuclear experts' situation at Fukushima, quote, far worse than we truly know. That is an understatement. No one really knows the true severity. We don't know anything yet. New York Times, expert warns of molten fuel may be underground beneath Fukushima reactor buildings, and he doubts that it can be extracted. We have three nuclear um, reactors that have melted through containment and into the environment. Study, warns, uh, study war warns Fukushima contamination is becoming more concentrated as it crosses the Pacific Ocean. Rather than dispersing, it's making a beeline for the West Coast. Scientists causing panic in public, and you should very well know if you live on the West Coast of the United States or Canada or Mexico or anywhere along the Pacific Rim, be advised, Fukushima is continuing and will continue for many, 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 many years to come. International alarm. Fukushima radiation leaks spike to record levels. Too little too late for Japanese government. Japan expert. Contamination from Fukushima is traveling under the seabed and spreading further out in the Pacific Ocean. Measures, needs to, uh, measures need, needed to stop the flow of water. I don't think they're going to be able to do that. NBC Nightly News, concerns are growing tonight, especially out west, about continuing radiation threat from Fukushima. Japanese diplomat, U.S. food supply stands to be contaminated, has been contaminated, is contaminated, and will continue to be contaminated for a very long time. You've got to think about all the rain we get from the Pacific Ocean. Where does all that rain come from? U.S. Berkeley nuclear professor work to go on for thousands of years at Fukushima site if they can't retrieve melted fuel. You tell me how they're going to do it. Fukushima plume headed for southern hemisphere, inner South Pacific and Indian Ocean after two decades will continue around 25% of total cesium-137 release. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the currents, the ocean currents travel around the world, so eventually this radiation will be global. Nuclear expert on CNN, expert on CNN, organized denial at Fukushima, TEPCO not in control at all, very worrying. You got to remember TEPCO and the Japanese government are one and the same. TEPCO is owned by the Japanese people now. Professor, Fukushima Unit Number 4, an immediate problem. Building is sinking over 30 inches in places. Number 4 is sinking over 30 inches in places. Extraordinary possibility that could, that could be back at March 2011 as situation continues. Risk of fission accident in fuel pool continues. Now that we got to remember that fuel pool is 100 feet in the air. They are basically sitting on a big... Um, a quicksand pit because the water's reaching up to the surface, the groundwater and everything's all muddy. Uh, Fukushima Diary reported one of the cranes fell on unit number three. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Number four, fuel pool is perhaps the greatest threat humanity has ever faced. Uh, we still got to deal with the three fuel pool, the two fuel pool, the one fuel pool, and all these reactors. Nuclear engineer on radio, unfortunately the truth is here 
The truth is there will be a large death toll from Fukushima. Damages to be seen over the next century. Disaster at plant unprecedented, unprecedented in magnitude. Authorities on U.S. West Coast concerned about stunning news from Fukushima. Radioactive water is pouring out every day and heading our way. And you better believe it. It's been heading our way for the past couple years now. Uh, Fukushima could be out of control for the next hundred years, says nuclear expert. Facing a huge problem. Very, very serious threat from M6 quake. Scary situation. You got to remember, uh, the earthquakes have not stopped. And Japan sits on a very seismically active zone. Uh, governor, who instructed TEPCO to lie for months and say Fukushima didn't melt down? Question mark. It should have been explained there were reasons why lies had to be told. You know, they're just lying to protect you. And there's a concern over Fukushima contamination polluting entire world, at least the Pacific Ocean. And that's a pretty big ocean. Over to Daily News, uh, Fukushima Diary. Crane leaned down at reactor number three. We've had a crane sink. According to the TEPCO, the remote controlling 1600 crawler crane leaned down beside reactor number three. TEPCO reports it didn't cause any damage on the reactor three building, and the data shows no abnormality. The insanity continues. These cranes are starting to fall over on this saturated ground. TEPCO data shows there's no, there's no, they're to run out of tanks in the third week of November. Um, they're running out of places to put this water. They're talking about making big open uh, colanders and, and, and evaporating the water and big boiling, you know, just boil it up and let it go in the atmosphere. The insanity continues. Groundwater reached on the ground surface in one more observation hole. Uh, that groundwater is up to the surface or damn near there. Uh, where was that other? Groundwater flowing to reactor number one turbine building and incinerary building. Oh, it's just going everywhere. Uh, Tritium level in groundwater still increasing near reactor number one. Over to informable news finally tonight. Japanese government to fund underground wall at Fukushima Daiichi as more criminal charges are filed against TEPCO. They're throwing people to the wolves. For the last two and a half years, the Tokyo Electric Power Company has been pumping water into the crippled reactor building of Fukushima Daiichi in an effort to keep the melted nuclear fuel cool somewhere inside the buildings. They're not in the buildings. Over the course of time, Utility has built more than 1,000 storage tanks for more than 335,000 tons of contaminated water. But contaminated water cannot be permanently stored in the tanks. Recently, TEPCO has acknowledged that there and many of these tanks are now leaking contaminated water into the environment because they just slapped them up. Uh, TEPCO and the Japanese government are planning to create an underground wall two miles long by freezing the, the soil up to 100 feet deep around the damaged buildings to prevent the flow of groundwater in and out of the buildings and becoming contaminated. A senior ministry official admitted that the Japanese government plans to shoulder the full cost of the operation. So it's going to you, the Japanese people. Which are project projected to be around $470 million. I'm sure it'll be a lot more than that. The project is currently estimated to be completed by March 2015, but the date and final price may both be adjusted down the road. And you know it will. So they're going to make the popsicle dam around Fukushima, <laughs> freeze that groundwater, and call it good. So uh, the insanity continues, folks. It just continues. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. I am. Thanks.